Okay, this is it. This is the ugliest log I own. Now, I've actually been saving this one because if there's still good wood in here, I think that this is going to be one of the treasures. I think there's really going to be some interesting stuff in here. <laughs> that is unbelievable. That is gorgeous. Well, that was not my most graceful effort. The root of the problem is right here. So this where a branch used to come out and it's really really making this log uneven for rolling I've sized it up and I don't really need that anyways that's probably the first surface that's going to come off so I'm going to trim that up with the chainsaw bit make it easier to load first to cut down the dimension of the logs so that it'll fit properly through the sawmill. I've got a branch that came off here and then a branch that came off here which is sitting down below my support that allows me a little bit more clearance kind of taking half and half instead of the whole width at once. So now keeping in mind my master plan, which is to get a nice chunk of quarter sawn out of the center, I'd also like to get some quarter sawn, if possible, out of this section. So after cutting this, flipping this 90, and taking a slice out of the center of that. I'm not sure if I can get enough valid wood out of this side to make it worthwhile. So I'm going to cut this section off first, cutting at about here. Rather than flip the logs to make sure I have all my clearances, I just trimmed it up with a chainsaw because that's an awful lot easier than flipping this log. So here we go, cut off here.
That is unbelievable. That is gorgeous. Hard to say what's going to come out of this section. So the plan is cut a three and a half quarter sawn, a couple of two and three eighths, and then finish off with one and five eighths to leave me with one and a half if there's anything usable in this section. We have our first insect activity within the log. Hardly surprising given the state of it. At least they're not carpenter ants. So now the plan is to take out the inner three inches here and that'll give us quarter sawn out of this segment and I'll cut the top section out, flip it, cut this section out and then put these two sections together and mill them into one and two eighths boards to leave us with some one inch narrow boards once they're dry. Now this is a striking piece. I don't know how usable it is, but it's a striking piece. There's certainly some good wood, but to use it as a complete slab would require a lot of epoxy. Uh, and if that's what you do, then maybe this is something pretty useful. I think I'm going to use it for something else, and it'll be in smaller sections. You can see here where there's the raw, it's, it's, like, it's like black earth. 
right in the middle of the log. Just some really interesting color variation in these logs. Thank you for joining me as I dissected possibly the ugliest black cherry log ever. I'd say I'll be able to salvage about two thirds of that log, so it would have been nice if it would have been more, but uh, given the amount of insect damage on the outside, of course it had to be expected to be found on the inside. So all in all, uh, not too bad. Some beautiful wood and some really, really intriguing possibilities with it. I think I found some parlor classical guitars and maybe some acoustic guitars or electric guitar veneers in there. Join me for the next log. It's log 41. This honey locust right here. It's a crotch log and I've been warned so I've got my blade sharpener ready to go. Join me in the next video and let's see what treasures we can find inside this log.